Hey guys, John Pettifordale back again, Platinum Executive Vice President with my econ and co-founder of The Power Team. Today I want to talk to you to, about some principles that I learned many, many years ago about wealthy people. And their principles, just like laws, get basically, okay? So I want you to think about this because principles always work whether you believe in them or not, okay? Now think about gravity. Gravity is a principle, right? Even if you believe in it, understand it or not, it still works in the fashion that it works. If you go out, find yourself on a very tall building, okay, um, and you walk off the edge, gravity will show up whether you believe in it or not, right? And you'll fall down to the ground and depending on how high you were, it could be a very devastating situation. Water. The principle of water is when you get in it, you get wet, okay? You can't change that. There's nothing you can really do about it. Okay, so now I want you to think about wealthy people. If you want to be wealthy, you must do what wealthy people do, okay? And I have studied wealthy people and they have, they have four things in common. And once you decide to get these four things going in your life, then you can become wealthy. So let's talk about them real quick. 97% of the people who are wealthy have these four principles in place. The other 3% are people that are even either inheriting their money or they are athletes or something like that. But 97% get their wealth this way. So let's talk about principle number one, business ownership. 97% of the people who are wealthy are business owners. So if you want to be wealthy in your life, the first thing you must do is decide to become a business owner. Business owners create the economy in the world and in America. So you must make that decision. Now, that could be any type of business, but it should have some specific principles in place. The first principle I want to talk to you about is asset leveraging. Now, many people don't know what that term means. Asset leveraging means making money off not only your efforts, but other people's efforts, okay? See, when you look at wealthy people, you can find this going on in their life, okay? Even money can also leverage. If you're by yourself and you can't leverage other people, you can leverage money. A dollar can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and the more dollars you have invested, the more leverage you have or the more people that you make a percentage on, the more money you have. J. Paul Getty, one of the wealthiest men at the time when he made this statement, actually he was the wealthiest man in the world at that time, he said he would rather be paid 1% of 100 people's efforts other than 100% of his own. Think about that. Imagine being paid 99% of your work even if you didn't have to go to work. You would be in a great position. See, that's asset leveraging at its best. The other principle you must have is this one here, royalty or residual income. That means get paid over and over and over again for work you do one time. See, many people are very familiar with a concept called linear income. Let me explain to you what linear income is. Linear income is when you work one hour, you get paid one hour. You work one week, you get paid one week. If you don't work, you don't get paid. I'm sure you're very familiar with that one, but wealthy people have positioned themselves to get residual income. Now I want you to think about it. You believe in residual income. Matter of fact, you also believe in leveraged income. Your job is actually leveraging you. You, they get paid off your efforts, your time, your talent, your education. If you went and got an advanced degree, if you're in management, your leadership, they're making money off all those things. You have to ask yourself, who are you making money on other than yourself? Now back to royalty and residual. Okay. You participate in residual income every single day. Now, typically this is only afforded to people who maybe write songs or things of that nature. They get royalties and they have a, a, a album or something like that and they get paid over and over and over again, or they write a book and they get paid over and over and over again. But many people, don't have this process working for them. You have to find a business that has leveraging involved and one that has residual involved. See, it can't just be a business where you are by yourself or basically a sole proprietor or a person that's just working out there by yourself. You're the accountant, you're, the, you're everything, you do everything. Everything is based on you. The problem is as soon as you stop, the money stops, okay? So you got to have asset leveraging. You got to have residual income. You believe in residual income because why? 
You got the, you signed up for the cell phone bill. How many times? One time. How many times do you pay it? Every month. You signed up for the light bill, the gas bill. How many times? One time. How many times do you pay it? Every month. See, you're on the wrong end of residual income. Now, last but not least, you have to get involved in red hot trends. So if I started to talk to you today about eight track tapes, You'll be like, John has gone crazy. Or if I start talking to you about CDs, you make, making, making basically the blank CDs and all that. People don't really use CDs anymore. Everything is digital media now. Things are changing and the world is always changing. So you have to be in front of red hot trends. Okay. Now, trends have a five to seven year lifespan and then the trends change and then you must change. So think about it. What is red hot right now? The baby boomers, the, the financial crisis that the baby boomers have. That's a huge deal. I teach the baby boomers how to fix their financial situation. Okay. I teach people how to get royalty and residual income. Matter of fact, I make 60 to 70% of my income today residually. Okay. It comes every single month, month after month, year after year. It doesn't matter what I do. If I go on vacation all month or if I decide to sleep all month. Okay. Asset leveraging. I have been able to talk to and put thousands of people in business all over the country. And then obviously, yes, I am a business owner. I retired at 34 years old and I am building wealth. So if you want these things for you, what I want you to do is two things. I want you to, first of all, commit to changing your life. Then what I want you to do is I want you to click the link below the, the tiny URL or the website below. And what I want you to do is get with the person that showed you this video so they can help you go to the next level, utilizing the four wealth creation principles to change your life. And I want you to understand something today is a great day to build a business. I'll see you again on the next video. Have a good day.